How's it going, boys? So today we are playing the revamped version of Krakens vs. Dragons. Now it's just a literal Kraken farm. Oh, yes. So, we have four ominouses, ominous seeds, four shimmers of possibility, four growth spirals, four brazen borrowers, four, three cleanse the mind, four gifts of Paradiso, three deafening clarions, three urus, three solar blazes, four songs of creation, and a bunch of lands. A huge, huge miss of lands, but honestly, it's well, we, we're, we're, we're taking what we can get. One castle, Ventress, four fable passages, 24 lands to be specific. Now, this is the quite literal Kraken farm, boys. If you have two or even three songs of creation, oh, the train doesn't stop there, the, the brakes are gone. But anyway, let's see if we can get to the point where the brakes are gone. So, our only way to deal with planeswalkers, essentially, factually, and correctly, is brazen borderers. I know, it's not perfect, but hey, there's no other solution. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, look at that, it's a 40 avatar. Great stuff. Hopefully I get AoEs. Ah, not exactly AoEs, but this is as close to AoE as one might personally ever wish to be. And we go first. What a joy. What an absolute joy, boys. Okay. So, ooh, he starts with a hello. Ah, he's a kinky. Kinky foodie. Well, it's fine. Not really, but, you know, we can pretend. We can always pretend, boys. Ooh, do I want... Now, I just want to do this, and I want to play Uru as humanly pa fast as possible. So, let's get a forest, and now we're a Simic deck. Oh, yes, no one will expect what's about to happen. Now, boys, there are easier ways to make Kraken decks. You know? But there is, like, the easier way, and then there's the right way of making a Kraken deck. And I subscribe to the right type of making a Kraken deck, going overboard like 300 quadrillion times. Oh yes, that is unquestionably the right way. Okay, currently also we have a decent amount of stuff. Oh, look at that, it's the deck, deck archetype that I really, really hate. This is a flash deck, probably. I have not played against any real flash decks, but anyone who plays a flash deck probably understands the finite details of playing a flash deck that it must be green and blue, there's no other way to, uh, you know, there's, there, there's just absolutely nothing else. And long time viewers will probably understand the interesting implications that, wait a minute, no deck surpasses two cleanse the minds, so why do you have three? Because if you don't have three, you are absolutely, without question or remorse, screwed. Milling yourself with this deck is easier than you will ever expect it, lads. Like, not even a question. Not even a question, a consideration, a anything. It will happen. I have done it multiple times, in fact. And my biggest fear in life is, get, uh, is milling myself on accident. Which we have still yet to ever do on this channel, as amazing as it is. So I'm gonna do the Brazen Barber thing, because there's no way he uh, he pre uh, prevents the, uh, the Deafening Clarion next turn, if anything. So it's gonna be a good time in the hood. Oh yes, man, he's contemplating things. He's like looking at these all, all these red and green lands, and he's like, Why do you have any of that? Yes, honestly, it's a valid question at this point, not gonna lie. But yeah, valid questions aside... Uh, well, we can start with the Kraken. Yeah, we're gonna start with the Kraken threat. Boys, and you must know this uh, around me, about me. Well, also around me, probably. It's the simple fact that I do love cards like this. Cards that literally spell perpetual doom. Oh yes, there's there, there's nothing that could creates a bigger smile upon my face than a card that just says, "Hey, when in in a bunch of turns you're gonna die, and there's not really much you can do about it." Ah, uh, what 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 can I say? I I enjoy a particular type of pleasure. Oh, can we go again? Ah. Uh, 
honestly, at this point, the lands are... The, I mean, we need extra lands, essentially, at this point. Because when we find the song, it's it's gonna be pretty pivotal at, uh, at a point that we have enough lands to play. Otherwise, it's gonna be uh, horrible. It's just, just, it's just flat out gonna be horrible. Oh, look at that. He finally quenched. I don't know if we can win against this deck, honestly. We have a bunch of ways to delay, and honestly, that's probably all we want to do. That's probably all we need to do, just delay his stuff for an eccentric amount of time. He's playing lands. I have a feeling he's gonna play a Planeswalker sooner or later, which is not gonna be fun times, but, you know, stuff. Okay, let's see. If we get a green, we can cast an Uru, but I don't think my deck has a green land, so we are gonna take the next best thing, a blue land. It's not exactly the next best thing, but, you know, hey! At least it's something. Okay, enemy Kun, it's time to use those counter spells. Oh yes, those counter spells you love so much because you're a disgusting Simic deck. Well, it's honestly not a Simic deck. He just returned it. Damn! That's like part of the equation of my deck just returning things I don't like. Well, good enough. Honestly, good enough. And do I want? No, I don't want to cleanse the uh, cleanse the mind just yet. Soon, but not just yet. Okay. Yes, replay your your dirty cutthroat. Oh, what an opponent, boys! I wonder what his deck is. I actually don't want to know, but you know, be a, a, a little bit curious. Maybe he has just, uh, maybe he just has a bunch of creature removal, and that's 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 like the play of the century. I don't know. It, it's hard to tell, but it, it is it is definitely a possibility. Also, I like how it uses my only fucking green land. Ten, ten, ten out of ten wizards. Ten, ten out of motherfucking ten. Not gonna lie. Uses up my only green green land. Yep, that's that 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 seems that that seems honestly about right. That that definitely honestly seems just about right. Okay, we're gonna drop this because as, again, as soon as the song happens, everything is gonna happen, boys. Oh god, wait, another cutthroat. Is he just gonna mass cutthroat me? Oh, a spectral sailor boy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wait, am I just dead now? If I do the math in my head, am I just dead? Probably, honestly, probably. Okay, that's that's nice. Took forever to actually find this, considering how many uh, how many of those cards we used, and now that we reshuffled the deck, suddenly magically, bam! But I think we lose. I think we do lose. Also, by the way, uh, adventure, pretty good card in these circumstances. Okay. Let me guess, you have a counter spell for that also, huh? Yep, seems about right. Okay, that was literally as expected. Well, not really. But, yeah, as, as close to expected. And this is not exactly a slow deck, but the problem is sometimes slow things happen. And that's essentially where we instantaneously lose. Uh, that's probably a lot more unlucky than anything else, honestly, that we lost against that. He survived all the wipes, and essentially just slow cooked us. Well, can be helped. Sadly, it cannot be helped sometimes. Okay, let's put, could put the cat on purple and see what we can do. We have a bunch of ram this time instantaneously. Cool. Kinda. Not really. But, hey, it's it's a life. Let's see what happens. A cleanse the mind in the hand. Not perfect, by any means. But, again, it's at least something. It's definitely at least something. Also, small, a small point. We probably never want to play two, uh, more than two songs. Because more than two songs is just flat out overkill and 100% millage. Even if you have cleansed the mind and whatnot in your side, uh, in your hand or anything. Also, he mulliganed. Ooh, that's rare. Usually my enemies have good hands. Man, this guy's unlucky probably in that case. So, go for the blue land. Ah, oh, the good art, the good art. Let's see, I'm gonna predict uh, blue-white. 
Again? Is this the same guy? Probably not, but, you know, you never can be too sure. Well, there's no reason for us to hold these fable passages for too long, considering how many, uh, how many ramp thingamajiggies we have. Okay, let's see what enemy Kun does now. Oh, green this time. Okay. If it's just a default graveyard combo deck, I do feel that we have a really optimal chance of doing something that does not involve with us pressing the concede button. Which is rare. But, you know, good life choices are not exactly the thing I am known for. Ooh, Temples of My Lady. Oh, actually, this... Dude! Man. I hate decks like that. You know why? Because... In reality, there's absolutely never a single shred of possibility that a deck like this wins against aggro. If you have, if you are using Skylands, chances are your deck is not winning against aggro often. Like against a red deck, this guy would be dead like at least five times over. That's like the thing. Next turn, he would be pressing the concede button. But yeah, I deter. Also. Well, we ramped. Oh, my lord. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, yes. Please do something with your mana that does not make me cry. Aha, that only semi makes me cry. Good stuff. Anyway, now this happens. Now we hope that we don't draw land. Also, we hope that, you know, he doesn't kill this. Small hopes, small dreams. It's a life, boys. It's a life. The good part is you're always pretty much capable of casting an Uru out of your ass. Oh, classic. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now. We're gonna get rid of absolutely everything I want in this deck because it's useful. Ah, oh, magic, boys. Magic. And chances are we're gonna draw more lands. Well, honestly, it has been worse. It has been a lot worse. Oh, look at that, more lands. Well, the good part about getting so many lands is, well, I'm not gonna get probably as many lands in the future, which is a, a good a good thing, and that's Tyrant Scorn. Man, people like that Tyrant Scorn card all of a sudden. It's decent. It's definitely decent, I'll give it that, but would I... Ro oh my god, of course, it's a Liliana. Ah, oh, when your deck's weak, when your deck is relatively weak against planeswalkers, boys, what are you gonna verse? A planeswalker. Pretty goddamn obvious, honestly. Pretty, pretty, pretty goddamn obvious. Okay, at least we're popping some lands, and... Well, at this rate, we're gonna get rid of all the lands in the deck, like, 100%. <laughs> Which is not exactly the worst case scenario. Okay, okay, that's, that's useful. That's, that's stuff. And now we can play more MacGuffins. And he just surrendered. Which is good. Because he would have probably died of laughter when he saw me play Cleanse the Mind. Yeah. This deck is as jank as it honestly gets. But when it pops off, again, it's a Kraken farm. It's a literal Kraken farm. Every single turn it's a crack. Well, multiple Krakens. Oh, good times. But yeah, it's fiddly. Okay, oh, Song of Freyless and Opening Hand. Well, count me in, chief. Uh, play this. I want, to, I want to draw an extra land as literally soon as possible. Oh, look at that. I want to kill myself as soon as literally possible. Ah, oh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. We're actually gonna slow steam cook this this bad boy. Let's Let's take this. I don't know why, but I'm taking it. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Is that a joke? Oh, of course, well. Ah, yes, well, actually, wait a minute. Was, was, that, benefici was that beneficiary to me? I don't know, but at least I healed with Gift of Paradisio a little bit. Okay, boys, here's the plan. Play Song of Creation. Top deck something 10 out of 10 sugoi. And that's that's probably it. Not gonna lie, it, it's it, it's at least a plan. Oh yeah, by the way, sugoi. 
a Russian for prostitute. Ah, oh, the Russians. They have so many uh, uh, colorful words, let's just say, for prostitutes. Good times. Okay, so, currently, honestly, uh, I, I'm gonna press a random land. But we don't exactly have... How are we gonna do this? Ah, whatever, YOLO 420, blaze it. We can play this and it... Well, I should have probably thought a little bit more. If we... Maybe if we combined our... You know, c combined two brain cells together, we could have played the growth spiral. The moment you drop this, you can just instantaneously play another land. Yeah. That's why this card is to a degree insane. It kind of gets rid of all the bad, uh, all the bad lands really fast. But the real thing about this card is it is it really something you play early on because it has so many detriments. For example, a Trollbjorn. Ah yes, I am absolutely fucked now because reasons. Well, that's not gonna do it, but at least it's a admirable start. Ah, oh, a classic. Yeah, I'm probably dead next turn. Not not much I can do about it. But as you can see, the lands, the land pumpage is real. The land pumpage is definitely real. The problem is this is a dwarf. And the problem is I need to take action. And I'm dead. If I don't take action, I'm in dead anyway. He even had a shock. Ha! <laughs> ah, wizards, please fix red decks. They still exist and it's a pain and suffering. Like, why would you play any- again, we have talked so many times about this thing. Why would you play anything than a red deck? Mathematically, there's never a point in playing anything other than an average one-cost red deck. You know? A red deck doesn't have problems. A red deck only has one objective. Play three lands or four lands at the worst. Well, four lands is usually my, my amount of lands. Play four lands. You know, pretty simple, right? You play four lands, and and then you just press attack every turn. Every every card you top deck is gonna serve the function you want. It's gonna deal damage to the face. So essentially, zero drawbacks. You know, it's it's amazing. You don't have to worry about top decking. You don't have to worry about getting land screwed. Well, less land screwed than other decks. And this is a resurrection deck. Great stuff. How am I gonna win that, you ask? Well, I don't know, because we're probably not gonna win at this rate. Oh, a fast Kraken, you say? Well, enemy Kun is gonna be mighty happy the moment I give him that Kraken, because let's be honest here. Yep. It's an Agent of Treachery deck. And guess who? Oh god, it's the Scholar of the Ages Agent of Treachery deck. Which means that's an infinity combo right there, my lads. Yes. Because we have made infinity combos with that. It's pretty fun. It's pretty good. It's pretty whatever. So. Fun fact, fun fact about Solar Blaze. Creature has death touch. Creature fucks itself to death with death touch. Even more than... The no uh, I like it how he's already 100% prepped. Watch. Oh, a Narset. Wait, a Narset is even worse! Man, what's the deal with people playing Narset against my decks? Like, honest to god. Did you even know Narset is a viable card? No, you probably didn't, because reasons. Also, yeah, if something has lifelink, it will also heal itself. Solar Blaze, everyone. It has more mechanics than Magic the Gathering combined. Ah, a class. Oh god, did he just play something and not get back everything he wanted? Well, you know, that does not matter 100% because look at that, boys. Look at that, uh, look at that. It's just amazing. Yeah, he's definitely stealing our thing that creates Krakens. Ah, uh, what an admirable, uh, admirable chap right there. You know... We, we tried so hard. I, I, I honestly should just press the concede button. There's no way he doesn't summon an agent of treachery. Again, 
These decks are extremely consistent. Agent of Treachery decks are beyond ludicrously consistent. That's like the- that's like the- Oh, wait, is Wizards forcing this guy to lose? <laughs> Wizards might be forcing this guy to lose. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. If you do not- The only way to balance Agent of Treachery decks is to literally have Agent of Treachery only at the very, very back. Which is hilarious. And that's what the algorithm does. If it wants an Agent of Treachery deck to lose, or at least a chance to lose, it's gonna put all the Agents of Treachery, like, literally at the back, 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 back of everything. And, well, you know, it's, it's fucking hilarious. Ah, <laughs> oh, good stuff. But yeah, we were doing fine, but that's mostly because it's an Agent of Treachery deck. Also, it didn't get the, the most earliest things. Yeah, essentially concede button. There's nothing we can do. He had a Tess. He had a Tess, he had a scroll, uh, a scroll out of the ages, and he had a village. Oh, and that guy did not even get too lucky. Oh, Agent of Treachery decks. Literally, Agent of Treachery decks are probably the... Is the best, uh, best deck you can play in this game. It's just the fact that somehow, mystically... A lot of the times, Agents of Treachery are gonna be your last 20 to 30 cards. And that that somehow happens, like, 50% of the time at a certain point when you play those decks. Oh, it is fun. It, it is funny, I'll give it that. It, it definitely is funny. Oh, look at that. Now we have this problem to face. Great. Ah, uh, we don't have a white land, but it doesn't matter, because he got to go first, the healing pigeon, now he's probably playing a footy. Degeneracy. And he's extremely slow. Oh, no, wait, first let's start off with the deck cells now, shall we? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, at, le at least we get s some form of ramp, even though it's 100% useless <laughs> in our case. Ah, he just greed. Uh, by the way, he just greed dropped a duck, so he 100% has an Johnny's Pride mate. Oh my God, he doesn't! Insane! Is this real life? Well, we have a brazen border, so it doesn't technically matter that much, but still, yeah. Can you imagine a world where he doesn't have an Johnny's Pride Mate off the bat instantaneously, no fucks given? Because I sure as hell can't. Okay, so we drop this, we play this on that, obviously, and then we find salvation in the form of, I don't know, Solar Blaze? Ah, yes, Solar Blaze, it's a card, it does stuff. Okay, looks like the game literally gave us a pass here. Feels good! Man, imagine! Well, you win one, you lose one, you win one. That's what happens when you're not playing some kind of ultra, ultra competitive deck. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have a good chance of doing the Kraken farm. If he doesn't just flat out surrender. But yeah, it's really hard to get like... If you make a deck like this, essentially it's gonna be a real hard at a certain point in life. To make everything happen. Oh, that Doxo's healing though. Two cards in hand, enemy. Con step right up, step right up. I'm not gonna yet cast song. I wanna play the Brazen Barber first and then I'm gonna cast the song. Again, adventure for some reason. A really good combo with Song of Creation. Ooh, with Doxos. Ah, well, doesn't matter if it's a Doxos or not. Let's first play everything that we can can here. Uh, that's that's okay-ish. Oh, finally found the land. Okay, we can still, by the way, uh, mill, uh, mill it for you know things. Well, time essentially. Okay, boys, but soon. It's always, by the way, a white dig that loses like this. That just you know, oh, oh. Uh, Excel, blah blah blah, pride each artifact and creature. 
Is this an artifact? No, it's an enchantment. Good stuff. Oh, wait, it's stuff. Oh, wait, it's bad stuff. Okay, so... Celebi? Yeah, definitely Celebi time. Okay, are you dead? No, you're not dead because you're Doxos. Okay, bad stuff. Oh, God, yes, finally, look at that. Kraken time, lads! Okay, the chances of us losing at this point are uh, we lost. Whoa! Come on! How hard? Okay, so we're, do we're, we're doing the plan, lads. We're, we're definitely doing the plan of the century. Uh, Song of Creation, Brazen Borrower, because otherwise Brazen Borrower is just gonna... You know, go go bye bye. Okay. Wait. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes, we can. We absolutely can, lads. But we can't play the Kraken, otherwise we're just dead next turn. <laughs> God, this game is currently garbage because of how overpowered like aggro decks are. Ember Cleave. You know, why play anything else when Fiery Sword can just go swoosh, swoosh? You know, there, there's not exactly a lot of point in playing anything else. And Live Game Decks with Heliode. Ah. Uh, it's everything, it's everything I ever wanted in life, except it's not. Well, we can play uh, uh, Uru and prolong the inevitability of our deaths. I like that this is still gonna attack though. That's 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 like my favorite part and everything of this. Yay! Okay, what can I do here? So the problem is we have zero removal that actually deals with Doxos, which is amazing. A land, amazing. But at least we can do this. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of the Fable Passage, we can get rid of, well, one, one more of these cleansy thingies, and a bunch of stuff. Essentially, it doesn't matter what we get rid of. As long as we just get rid of it. But the obvious problem here is, if enemy configures out the simple yet sturdy fact that he can press the Ajani Zero, we're gonna die anyway, because reasons. We're on 8 HP. Wa wa what do you think is gonna happen? God! It's hard to play jank at times, boys. It's hard. Especially with this card. <laughs> yeah, it's a decent card, I like it. It's, it's gonna have a lot... By the way, this card is gonna have a lot of uses in Historic. Because in Historic, you can just search for a scant, And suddenly, bam, this card does stuff. Oh, look at that! We're actually not dead! What are the odds? Wow! Never expected in a million years that I will just not be dead. But... but what, 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 you know... I didn't expect to not be dead, but at the same time, it's like we don't have a solution for this. We just don't have a solution for this. This deck does not have a solution for stuff like that. Well, that's... that's not gonna do anything. It doesn't kill anything. Okay, at least I can do this. At, at least at the bare minimum I can do that. Was there a chance if I draw a Kraken? Yeah, probably not. Okay. But as you can see, this card is like amazing at just getting value. It's gonna be really good in Historic, I have a feeling. But... Feelings aside, wait, what can? Is, do you think he's gonna minus zero? Uh, do you think it doesn't? Do you think it doesn't even matter? Yeah, it probably doesn't even matter. Okay, enemy con, that was amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Just continue buffing things. Yeah, you buffed the heliode. Congratulations. It's not like that. Honestly, matters. We didn't get an early Kraken, which means it's not, it's, it's technically not exactly fun times. Okay, so, what's the plan? Well, we, we obviously blocked Daxos. Uh, our plan pretty much falls apart after that moment. 
Well, we can play another Uru, which is honestly probably the best I can ask for. Oh, wait, that's even better! Boys! Whoopty doopty! Poof! Well, it doesn't make a difference, honestly, so yeah. Okay, is there a chance in hell that we find a way in hell to survive? Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna definitely... Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? We drew... We drew lands. It's it's not exactly a Christmas miracle at this point. Okay, oh wait, he needs to block that. Oh! Salvation boys? Salvation boys much? Yes! Yes indeed! Ah, oh, A Christmas miracle. Honestly. The best of Christmas miracles. Don't fucking buff that. I'm gonna just take this back because at this moment in time it's like, eh, you know what? Deal with it. Okay. So, the funny part is we actually have a chance. Unless we draw all of our cleanse the mines and we can't play them no longer. Well, let's see. Okay, I play this. Now I can play this. Watch, wa wa watch me mill myself, because, you know, cleanse the mind. Oh, boys, we actually did not hit it for some reason. Is it happening? Or did I screw up? Yes, we still have a cleansed mind. Boys? It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, he played Heliod. Didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah, he definitely played a Heli another Heliod. Well, actually, it's a Dexos and a Heliod. Name me a more iconic combo, boys. Pro tip, you can't. Okay. Uh, what's the plan now? The plan is wa watch. Observe. I, You know what's gonna happen? My last card, which I cannot get at this point, is gonna be... Ah, oh, no. Cleanse the mind is there. Okay, pay life reasons. And now, let's just do this. Before we kill ourselves, obviously. Oh, wait, we still killed ourselves. Yep, it happens a lot. Ha! <laughs> I told you, you never play more than two of those. You never, sadly, play more than two of those. <laughs> well, it is a deck. But getting, like, three Krakens a turn is pretty insane. Well, actually, it's, like, more like eight Krakens a turn. It is pretty insane at the end of the day. But, yeah. Th th this is how it goes. Obviously, considering we're using white, we don't have a real way to deal with a Doxos, like, ever. And we don't have a way to deal with Planeswalkers. So, ironically, white decks are, like, super top-tier danger zone for us. <laughs> Which is half of the decks that are currently being played. I guess this is fine, though. It's it's amazing when it happens, but it's, it's, it's gonna be, like, question, question mark if it happens. So, anyway... This was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.